Oh, that's a beautiful shot. And we know Florida is called the Sunshine State, right? But it's also the shark bite capital of the world. Not too great a title there, but you might not know that Jacksonville itself ranks in the top five of the most shark bites in history. Now, shark experts say that there are many reasons that these kings of the ocean are often found close to shore. And on your side, Tori Kless wades into the science behind the shark bite. Now, I know what you're thinking because the sea, the sharks, and the statistics are scary. But according to our shark doctor that we spoke with, he says it's not surprising that Duval County ranks high on this list. There's a lot of common factors involved, and you know, a big one of those is, is climate, which is related to the amount of people in the water. Dr. Brian Franks at Jacksonville University works with the shark tracking group OSEARCH. So Duval County falls at number five on this list. St. John's County actually ranks six. But why is that? Well, Dr. Frank says because much like snowbirds, those sharks are making their migratory path down the East Coast. A lot of times when they are migrating, they are feeding and they're feeding on schools of bait, which these schools of bait will frequently come in close to shore. But Dr. Frank says not to worry if you're going for a swim. He says that most shark bites are bite and release. And according to this study, your risk of dying due to a shark bite is lower than dying by a lightning strike. Our sharks are important for our oceans, but when we do, you know, go into that environment, um, we are entering their realm. But how do you avoid getting bitten by a shark? Well, there are actually a few tips, such as not wearing jewelry in the ocean, that you could find in this story on FirstCoastNews.com. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side. Golf